Hi everyone. Today we're going to go over the offline controller and do a quick test cut with it with the uh, the 3018 Pro and hopefully this will get you up and running. There's uh, one thing I want to note that with the easel software there is a minor change that needs to be made in the code before you can use it. If you're using other software like Carbide Create or VCarve or Aspire um, it seems to all just work fine. Uh, Fusion 360 don't have any problem with the code at all just with easel so basically since most everybody's using easel let's just go over the uh, parts with easel uh, the quick change and if you're not using easel you can um, probably just skip the part where we edit it in notepad otherwise uh, let's get started so I'm going to power this off just to make a note here um, so you're going to get a controller like this and uh, you're going to get a cable one end plugs into here going towards the back and then the other one is going to plug into the back of the board so this is the 3018 board that you have and it is going to be on the back of the machine here and this end of the cable is going to plug right into the bottom it's going to go right into that port right there and it's going to plug right in and that's it it's that simple and so one thing to note is you cannot have the USB cable and the offline controller plug in at the same time. That will uh, possibly damage the board, so definitely do not do that. And on the assumption you have an offline controller because you do not have a computer out into the area where your 3018 is. So with that being said, let's go ahead and um, get this started up. I'm going to plug it into mine for real, for real. And... I'm going to go ahead and power it on. You should see it come up. It's initializing and we're online. So instead of taking the uh, memory card out, I recommend plugging it into the USB underneath and this way you don't accidentally have it plugged into the machine or whatever. Um, you'll see it turns into a uh, USB symbol there and you'll notice on my computer I'm going to take note that it was drive E flashed up on my PC and uh, so uh, with that being said let's move forward with creating a quick design let me move this camera out of the way I've created a simple square here for us to just do a quick test cut go through some different things and I've just made it a uh, 0.28 uh, shallow the depth or 0 0.028 my bit is the 0.1 millimeter bit which is just a small bit and so what we're going to do is we're going to generate the code and then we're going to need to edit the code so the first thing we'll do is we'll generate it let's go to machine and then we need to go to advance so basically just review most of this is pretty much default make sure your spindle control is on automatic because we wanted to add in those commands for the offline controller um, then you're going to click generate G code so it's going to do its thing and then you're going to export the g-code so now that you've done that um, it's going to download to your downloads folder as you can see I've already done this let's clear them all out um, however you choose to get to your downloads folder I uh, personally like to go to uh, Windows Explorer come up on the left hand side choose downloads and um, sort them by date modified these are the files um, as you can see I already did this so like I said if you're using easel we need to make a change in the file so here's our untitled.nc file and here's what we're going to do we're going to download the software note plus plus or notepad plus plus and basically it's, it's a free software you can see my URL on my screen it's uh, notepad plus dash plus dot org um, it's a home page on the left hand side we're going to click download it's going to click the latest version go down to download don't be fooled by these other downloads and starts and all that let it finish downloading over here okay now I'm going to open the file uh, do you want to allow it to make changes to your device yes English next I agree, I agree. Oh, so this is pretty normal. Definitely want a shortcut on my desktop. Click install. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and run it and click finish. Okay, now that we have this open, what we wanna do is go up to file and we're gonna to go to open and then we're going to navigate to the downloads folder if it doesn't put you right there and we're going to choose our file that we just exported from easel which is untitled.nc and we're going to open it and so i'll show you what's wrong the first thing is go up to view and go to show symbol and then end of line and if you'll notice this is well to keep all the technical stuff out of this is the unix version of the file and for whatever reason this offline controller does not like it for whatever it just simply does not like it so if you notice down here and uh, uh, let me move let me let me move this camera out the way here for a second all right <clears throat> wrong thing if you notice down here in the right it says unix and that's what we need to change. So if you right click on that and go to Windows, you're going to notice it's going to add the carriage return and then LF, I mean line feed, I guess. And um, But you'll notice down here there is not one here at the M5. The M5 is what turns the machine off, the spindle off. So the M3 up top here turns it on and M5 turns it off. So if you don't put your cursor there and hit enter, you'll notice it will add the carriage return and line feed. It, it, it will not leave it off when your spindle returns back over it'll just stay running and we wanted to leave it on so the two changes that we made is one we had to change it to the windows format and we uh, added a carriage return at the last line that is pretty much all that really needs to be done so uh, with that being said you can save the file you can go to file save and now when you load it into the device it should work just fine so let's now navigate over to file our Windows Explorer and I am going to select it we're going to copy and then we're going to move down to my USB drive and we're going to paste it and this USB drive is the actual memory card that's inside this uh, controller so now that we have it there let's go ahead and close it out we can close notepad out uh, we can actually close this out we can close this and we can move this back over here and then so now I am going to change camera views Jungle.